So what's the absolute fastest way to build a website in Framer knowing that you're gonna get the results that you need? Now, you could use Framer AI, but as we can tell, some of the results that it's giving us is not exactly production ready. Now, if you want to design and build a site like this in about five to 10 minutes, as we're about to do right now, I have the perfect tool for you. Now let's get into it. So what I've done here in this file is that we have a few different components here. We have the nav, our hero section, and then this feature section. And above all of that, we have our assets. Now the assets here is just the H1, the H2, H3, and then the primary and secondary button color that I'm going with, or the primary and secondary color in general that I'm going with here. So we can see these colors already being used. If I hit command and period there, we can see that we have our logo here called space time, blast off, getting ready for a new rocket launch. So in this fake site, we're pretending that we're launching a rocket into space. And this is the website that is going to get people to want to sign up. So find the best rocket spaceships available from March 2035. All very, very promising, but we need the perfect website to sell it off. Now, this is looking very nice. I will say that the font here is juicy, but it's not going to get us very far if we want to sell this rocket ship. So we at least need a couple more sections, like for example, a pricing section, maybe a footer even if that's not too crazy to ask. So what I'm going to do is go into tilebit.io and here we can filter by framer only sections using this filter right here. And in this case, I'm going to go for a pricing section. Now, this is the absolute fastest way that you guys can build a custom section just like this one. So in this case, we're going to go ahead with a simpler one, maybe this one for now, just because we're going to give it one price, you know, a stupidly expensive thing because we're going into space so we can. So the best practice here is going to be to paste it directly into the default desktop. I added an extra one for 1440, but we just want to paste it into the default one. And that's going to load in and paste the section that we designed here. And that's going to be responsive and ready to go for whatever design you want to throw at it. So in this case, let's go ahead and change this pricing to be something a little bit more obscene. I'm just going to go to the layer panel here. Now, there's a couple of ways that we could do this, but the first thing that I'm going to do is change up the type here so that it fits within our style. So we're going to go with an H3 in this case. Could be an H2 as well, but I think H3 fits here. And for the tagline, maybe we can say our prices are out of this world so that we're fitting with the theme here. It's looking a little bit ridiculous, but you know what? It's all in good fun. So the way that we can edit this pricing card here is going to be in a couple different ways. The first one here is that we could either choose from the basic monthly, the yearly, we can choose the to highlight it alone, or we could just have the basic plan. And here's where we can kind of change in the content that we want. So by basic plan, we could call it, we could repeat out of this world and then free forever. We can actually do maybe 30,000, let's do 300,000, a little bit cheap there for out of space, something like that. And then the perfect plan to leave this world nice and comedic there, but we can also unlink and replace all of them just as we're about to do right now. So here we have this button and I can just drag in the primary button that we already have and we can delete that or we can replace all the colors and everything and that would be perfectly fine as well. But in this case, I want to get rid of this border here, maybe give it our primary blue for this background. Maybe we can give it a fill of that light gray, change in this color here to be white. So it's looking a little bit more custom as we have here. Let's go ahead and check this out. It's maybe not looking exactly how I would want it. So let's go ahead and change that. So maybe instead of this solid blue in the background, we can maybe give it a nice gradient. So for example, I'm just going to start off here with a light gray, select the second one here, and then we can go for white. So maybe that way we can kind of go into that light mode a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit more radius in this case. So we can just do that and have overflow be hidden just like that. So we can kind of give it more of a custom feel and that border is a little bit hideous, but we're running out of time here. So let's go ahead and move quickly. So maybe here we can even completely get rid of the border. Let's see how that looks. I think for now that will not be the case. Let's just give it back to what it was just like that. Okay, so we can move on from, from here just for now. Let's pay attention to the other things. So here we have this pricing section. We can also so add in maybe a footer section if we want to an FAQ that could probably be important if we are talking about a spaceship. So let's go ahead and copy this FAQ three. But I am losing a little bit of inspiration here just because the components here are black and white. I think it'd be a good idea to see how I can style it to my liking. So in this case, we have this black and white version so we can almost invert it. And I think that would be a good option in this case where we can see it's more important. We're adding that black background. And this is an example 
from ClassPass here. So we can go ahead and just copy this into Framer and let's see how we can use this to our advantage here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the parent element, just paste it in directly. And that's going to give us these FAQs. And here again, I'm going to change the content just like here, go into the text, double click on that and go into the styles here, select the H3. Now we have that and we can change this to whatever we want and we can even delete it. So now we have this FAQs, learn more. So that's pretty simple. So we have this FAQ section here, but you might be wondering, you know, we've styled this, it all looks sublime. This gradient does not look ugly, despite what you think. Can this work? Will this FAQ actually start working the way it's supposed to? Well, of course it will, because this is a live and working site, except for this hideous design. Let's just ignore that. But this learn more button, obviously everything works here. All the FAQs, the drop downs, and the design is all editable to whatever we want it to be in terms of the animation, in terms of how fast the content snaps back to be repositioned. So this is all very customizable. So let's go ahead and add in a footer here. Now a footer, I really have no idea what to design in this case for a spaceship company to make it look like it's out of this world, to make it look like it's fantastic. But luckily we have the inspiration here. So we can see that if we do use that similar style of the FAQ, use maybe a darker design, darker background, we can go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and copy this design. For example, I do like that it's quite simple, maybe not the best for a spaceship company, but let's go ahead and use that anyways. So now that we have this design here, I'm just gonna go into the component and change the color that I need it to be. So in this case, the fill can be black or maybe really dark dark and then all of the content can be white or even that light blue that we designed earlier something like this that light yeah probably not probably wouldn't look good there that's going to give someone a headache so let's go ahead and just use the simple white here newsletter can also be white text can also be white privacy and terms in this case everything has to be white in this case just like that and now except for that logo which we can also replace we have the logo from the nav bar here so let's go ahead and just steal that we can just take that logo copy that double click into here go to the parent paste it into here just so that we can have that and of course that blue cannot stand because it'll give someone a migraine so now that we have that let's take a look at what we have here we have a nav bar a hero header but first let's go ahead and publish this to the world so get dash ready dash for dash launch dot framer dot ai you can go ahead and check that out for yourself so let's see what we have here we have the nav bar all of these links we have these buttons here which will take us to the home page we don't need to see that right now we can also see See the pricing which is absolutely not a nasty design by any means this h3 in all this text is a placeholder but you can see that we can very quickly change it to be whatever we need it to be but after that we have the FAQs which allow us to add in any text or images or whatever we want to add to help people understand their questions better and keep in mind that this is all in the same grid now I have a video about how important grids are in Figma the same applies to Webflow to Framer to custom code whatever you want you can watch that video up there to understand and a little bit more about this concept and how important this grid and this alignment is. But after the FAQ, we have the footer, which can be perfectly stretched to fill in that entirety of the space using VWs. So guys, if you wanna explore this site for yourself and see how it ups and scales and does all these crazy, crazy website things, I'll leave the links to everything in the description so you guys can explore it for yourself. And I'm also gonna leave the link to Tilebit so you guys can see how these components look like in your own projects and also the inspiration so you guys can get some actual feedback on how these components can look like. So guys, if you learned anything in this video, let me know down below because that's always very helpful to know if these videos are helpful at all. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.